The Multi-Table Tournament Simulator will help you train for your favorite online or live tournament. To get to the Multi-Table Tournament Simulator, click here on your member page. Now, select the type of tournament you want to play. Each tournament comes pre-configured with default options. For example, here you can see I have the Online Turbo Low Stakes Tournament selected. The skill level of the opponents is on Easy. The tournament starts with 100 players. Each blind level is 10 minutes, and each player starts with 1,000 chips. Now, I'll switch to the Daily Casino Tournament. You'll notice the skill level is now medium. There are 200 players, 30 minute blind levels, and 5,000 chips to start. Of course, if you're not happy with any of these options, you can change them. For example, here I'll change the tournament to start with 300 players. Just remember, every time you change the tournament type in the drop-down, it will return you to the default options. Now, each tournament type has a different blind structure as well, which cannot currently be adjusted. To see the blind structure, press the Show Levels button. Let's take a look at the blind structure for the tournament we currently have selected, the Daily Casino Tournament. This structure is nearly identical to one of the largest daily live tournaments currently held in Las Vegas. Our other tournament types also match the blind and anti-structure for other popular live and online tournaments. You can also select a player mix, which controls how aggressive your opponents are. And you can pick an advisor if you'd like, who fits your playing style. Remember though, different advisors have different playing styles, and you should never assume any advisor's advice is always perfect or always should be imitated. The total cost to enter the tournament is the buy-in plus the entry fee. The difference is, the buy-in is awarded back to the players in the form of prizes. The entry fee goes to the card room. If you're trying to duplicate a tournament at your local card room, they usually indicate how much of the total cost is the buy-in and how much is the entry fee. If you've played our other simulators, you've probably noticed you can freeze the button, peek at your opponent's cards, or fix which hands will be dealt to you, such as only dealing raising hands. All these features are disabled in the multi-table tournament simulator unless you select Enable Practice Mode, as shown here. Whenever you're in practice mode, however, the tournament will not count towards your trophies page or your tournament champion's ranking. Now that we've configured this tournament to our liking, press the Show Payouts button to see the prizes. Click the Submit button to start the tournament. While you're playing, you can always look at this box at the top of the screen to see the blind level, the time remaining at this level, and the players remaining. You can get additional information by clicking on Tourney Info. This will show you what the next blind level is, what table you are at, and the average stack. Once you're in the money, it will also show you your current chip ranking compared to other players. You'll notice you can also review the blind structure and payouts here. Time elapses after every hand is played, approximating the time per hand in an actual tournament. More time elapses in live tournaments as compared to the online tournaments. By the way, how long you take to act doesn't affect this, so if you left your computer on and came back 30 minutes later, you don't have to worry about this affecting anything. If you want to pause the tournament for a long period of time, click the Quit and Save button. You can resume the tournament right where you left off whenever you're ready. From your member page, click on My Sessions Played, then find the tournament in the list and click the green Resume button as shown here. When you finish a tournament, you'll be shown a page with your results as shown here. You can hover over these question marks to learn more about any item on the page. And as with any session on advanced poker training, you can also get a session report that provides you with more information about your play. And while I won't cover it in detail, you can also click here to get to your trophies page to see all of your best tournament finishes. Now, best of luck in the tournaments, 
and get ready to ignite your game.